The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness, and he remained there for forty days, and was tempted by Satan. He was with the wild bees, and the angels looked after him. After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, today's gospel speaks about Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. Who is among you not tempted? Anyone here not tempted? All of us are. Otherwise, we have to replace Jesus with the one who is not tempted. All of us are tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. What is temptation? Temptation is one where you are nudged and you are prompted to say, hey, don't believe in God. Why you want to go to God? Go away from God. Disobey God. No need to worry about all these things that you need to follow. Make yourself like God. Disobey God. So when these promptings come, and if we succumb to these promptings of the evil one, of Satan, we sin. To have temptations is not wrong. Jesus was tempted, but... The moment you fall into temptation, that is when you sin. Now, this temptation, I want to bring you three R's. The first R, temptation is real, is normal, is real. So when you face temptation, know that it is coming from not the right source. The next one, temptations are repetitive. Ask yourself, we all, we all do the same sin. We all commit the same sin over and over and over again. Aren't you not tempted? Don't you do the same? Don't you commit the same sin all the time? So temptations lead to sin that we repetitively commit. We continue to sin every day. But the beautiful aspect of this, temptations actually lead one to the third R, to rejoice. To how, Father, how to rejoice with temptations and you say sin and to rejoice. Actually speaking, when you are tempted and when you don't succumb to the temptation, you become victorious. And so you have the power over Satan. You have the power over the evil one. But unfortunately, more often than not, we succumb to the evil one and we sin. And so when temptations come, you, when you are imbibed in the power of the Lord, you have the power to be able to ward off, to be able to... Tell the evil one, hey, you have no power over me because the one over me is my Lord. The Lord reigns over me and so I am not going to be tempted and I'm not going to sin. So that is the element of rejoicing. Ask yourself, dear sisters and brothers, do you rejoice or you do feel so sad after sinning? And when we often sin, when we are lonely or when we are alone, and when we are stressed out, when we are depressed, 
we sin more when you rejoice you sin less or don't sin at all rejoicing not in having a wild time rejoicing because i have the power of the spirit inside me and so i am rejoicing and so there is no possibility for the occasion of sin because i am a happy person are you happy or are you frustrated if you are a happy person the occasion of sin will be far from you and that is what happens when we don't we are not happy as a christian you are called to be happy look at your faces right now look at each other's face am i happy how you don't know love father hey why are you here you have to be so rejuvenated you have to be so sparked in the power of the spirit and when the lord takes charge of me i have his power and you know don't save the body and lead to the soul to hell you know i remember before going to the seminary we are required to do some work for some time before we go to the seminary and so i went to work in a company called king nam korean company this is the way they do the highway project roads were built from kl to batangkali so i was in a place somewhere near templar park where i used to do some 7 to 9 o'clock i used to pour petrol for the pickups and all this cars and 9 onwards i do a way bridge operator i was a way bridge operator until 5 or 6 o'clock so these guys would come in after every sunday monday the conversation will be this you no know, this few guys will be there and they will be talking you know hey you know what uh, last saturday night uh, it was such a wonderful time you know and they will tell describe about their saturday night outing and all <clears throat> so then i remember them saying hey the red light area and i was wondering at 19 i didn't know what red light area was but today 9 years old will know so 19 i was wondering where what this red light area so what they has they told me one day hey come la you come come with us <coughs> so i told my mom tonight i'll be coming back late and i had to go with his friends we, they want to take me out and so i went so that evening there were three or four of us we went and you know chaukit i think some of you will know chaukit road there so they took me to the alleys lorong la lorong suma blakang lorong sana so they asked me to walk with them and they went from one it's like a rooms you know so so as i rightly went inside i saw all these red lights see who oh, this red really literally red lights and i saw a lot of uh, women sitting there all very skimpily clad and they were looking and smiling and waving you know as some of you would have gone there me you know so i go in then i feeling so uncomfortable and i i really felt so uncomfortable and after walking through the few rooms one and after another i came out and i told these guys hey come la go i said go where now we go and see them i said no 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 i they were actually suggesting to me to visit this women and i said no i got to go back and i said i want to go and have something to eat and i go so one guy one guy accompanied me the rest all went off so i had some i i vaguely remember i had a meal and then i went home <coughs> took a bus and went home i was in rawang then as i look back i give praise to god and i rejoice i rejoice not because i was a saint or a good boy but because there were two people at home who were working hard on me my mother and father who was praying so fervently and ardently for me those these two people people of faith who protected me and i felt so good afterwards and i continued my work that year and i went on to the seminary and you know after seminary when i came back <coughs> i went to work again and this time i was working in sagambur area where this annaku company you know this annaku the baby wear so i was a supervisor i was i was a storekeeper there for Uh, for a, a couple of almost a half a year or so so while i was there about 11 12 people under me there was this two two young girls i still remember their names shima and yati don't have funny ideas please huh? shima and yati so 
these two girls, every Saturday, we have Saturday half day, they will come and tell me, hey, Xavier, Marila, get the piggy Templar Park. These two girls, every week, they will bug me. And I say, Tapulela, Saya Hari, a Mingu, ah, Sunday, Saya Piggy Church. After a while, they got fed up. Tap, tap, Mingu, church, church, lah, you. Then they got fed up and they didn't disturb me afterwards. And as I look back, I'm also rejoicing. Because when you are with the Lord, when somebody is guiding you, when somebody is praying you for you, somebody is protecting you, shielding you, you will have that power to ward off temptations, to be able to say no. Dear sisters and brothers, that is so important. In the season of Lent, we are given three elements to be able to safeguard us. Prayer, fasting, almsgiving. Today, past fasting has become a thing of the past, out of fashion. My mom taught me how to fast from the age of nine years old. Now I'm spoiled. Then I was a better person then. But you know why we need to, re we need to fight temptations? Before that, when Jesus was tempted, he was with wild bees and the angels looked after him. He was among wild bees. And you know, sisters and brothers, you and I have got two wolves. I think I've shared before. Two wolves in us. You have the wolf, the good wolf, and the bad wolf. The wolf that you feed is what you become. Which wolf are you feeding? Are you feeding the bad wolf? Or are you feeding the good wolf? That is what you will become. Now, why you need to fight temptations? Let me tell you the reasons why you need to fight temptations. First, firstly, Temptations will lead you to earthly pleasure. And earthly pleasure will lead you to damnation. Whereas when you speak, when you stop sinning, it will lead you to eternal blessing, eternal bliss in the Lord. That is the first reason. The second reason, temptations will dupe you to believe in, on this earth and not in heaven. And so, it will want you to trade heaven for earth where you are in hell. Whereas, there is something that is waiting for you hereafter. And why are you in the church? You are trying to make every effort to go there. It is not a place, mind you. Heaven is not a place. Heaven is a state of your being. Likewise, hell is not a place. Hell is a state of your being. So where do you want to be? Don't trade heaven for earth. But we live in earth as if we are endlessly living on this planet earth. And the third reason why you must fight temptation, because you must not hurt the one who loves you immensely. You must not hurt the heart of God. How painful it is to hurt your husband or wife or children. But how much more we hurt God. But we don't want to hate the fake lover, the Satan. We tend to be so much with the fake lover. Apparently, he is the one who is in love with us. So dear sisters and brothers, ask yourself where you want to be. What you want to do. Why are you in the church? Why you want to be connected or not connected to God. And he will lead you on. So let us pray for this grace. This grace to make a transformation. The season of land is just not given to us as a, a time of just, oh well, another season. No. To become conscious. To become aware. To make every effort possible. To be able to get connected to the divine residing inside within me are you connected or what are you connected to whom are you connected to let us pray dear sisters and brothers jesus was tempted he became victorious you and i are tempted let us not become victims but let us become victors
Amen.